Hi, I'm Gloria Pearson, and this video is on how to open your heart to attract love. And my tagline is, we attract that which we are, not that which we want. So I'm gonna give you five tips to raise your vibrations and attract the love that you want. Stay tuned. Hi, I said the title of this video is how to open your heart for love. And one of my taglines is whatever is in balance is sustained. So even with love, it has to be in balance. You can't just give, nor can you just receive. It has to be in balance. And in order to attract that which you want, you have to be that. So if you want more love in your life, whether it's romantic love, love from your relatives, loving um, attention from co-workers, you have to be that. So we have to work on our own self-love inwardly and then it goes outwardly and that's what you're going to attract. That's the law of vibration and the law of attraction. You have to be first what you want and then you'll see it come into your life. So I'm gonna go over five tips today and I hope you try all of them. And again, it's not like turning on a light switch where you're gonna do one of these today and boom, tomorrow it's gonna to, uh, change. No, nope, it's not that way. But gradually, over time, if you practice this and practice self-love, you will attract more love into your life. So my first tip is doing mirror work. And this is very, very powerful. I want you to look in the mirror and say to yourself, I love you. And then after you say that, get, um, go deep, get in touch with your feelings. How did that make you feel? Did it feel authentic or did you feel like, oh yeah, right. So work on this and this could be done on a daily basis. Just look in the mirror and say, I love you. The second, the power of our words. Our words manifest into our life. So whatever we put out there is going to come in. So be careful how you talk about yourself. Don't talk about yourself with sarcasm. If somebody gives you a compliment, thank you. And if you're talking about something you're doing, be positive about it, not like, oh, I'm trying to learn to play the piano, but I'm really no good at it. Don't degrade yourself. Don't talk about yourself with sarcasm. Be positive. I saw on a talk show the other day, one of the hosts said his um, resolution was to learn to play the piano. So here he was, this big star, he had this little keyboard and played a um, song by Beethoven. He said, he researched, it was the easy song to learn. He said, I really don't know how to play the piano, but I'm having fun and I can play a song right now. So it's the same thing. Look at the positive side, whatever you're doing, do not look at yourself with sarcasm. Because I bet you get up every day and you do the best that you can. You may want to do better, but you're doing the best that you can. So be careful of the words you use to describe yourself. The third is when you're in conversations with others. Again, this is the whole law of vibration. Before you start to talk to somebody, just think in your mind, you don't have to tell them, think of one thing you really like or admire about them. So even if your conversation is, what's the weather? You're coming from an internal place that you're more authentic. You've raised the level of vibration and that will come out. So think about that when you're before in conversations, before you engage in a conversation, really look at the person, ground yourself, look at them in the eye and think of one thing that you really like or admire about them. I read something the other day too, if you're not sure what to say to somebody, ask, how is your heart? Now, how would you feel if somebody asked you, how is your heart? That's authentic. Okay, another one is, we're, we talked a lot about our words and the energy, but there's also movement to open your heart. Our body is composed of energy centers called chakras. The one right here is the heart chakra. So also to open that up, we're gonna give it some energy. Let's try this exercise together. Put your hands in front of you, just like this, palms together, and just open wide. And when you're in this wide position, Think of a beautiful color around your heart area that you're sending out into the universe. And then you could close them and then open them again. 
And again, you're giving energy in this area. You're activating that heart chakra. You could also do this by deep breathing, deep abdominal breathing. Maybe try it outside looking at the clouds in the sky. So we're energizing this whole heart chakra energy center besides the earlier ones using our words. And so the last one is bring some joy into your life. You need passion and joy because that is where you're going to stand, where you're going to come from. It could be just small things, but put it in your schedule. Make your commitment to do that this year. Whether you, want, you love painting, watching TV. I know for me, I read a lot of kind of philosophy and self-help books, but I stopped reading fiction. So now I read fiction just for fun. That's one of my goals for this year. So bring some joy into your life, something you're passionate about. So again, please try these five steps and remember, change inwardly and then you change outwardly. You attract that which you are, not that which you want. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. I send you, uh, every week I do videos to uplift, motivate and inspire you. Sending you lots of love and light. Till next week.